when I was a child, I, I always would look at um, fire engines and trucks and they would be really cool to me. Um, but I never thought I would, could be a firefighter because I'd never seen other females um, you know, on the engine or riding any of the, at the fire stations. It didn't occur to me until after college. Um, I played basketball in college. I graduated with a sports medicine degree. And then um, as an athletic trainer, I was athletic trainer for the Los Angeles Heat firefighter football team. And at the time they were hiring, some of the guys on the team were saying, hey, you know, you're athletic, you're, you're smart, you should probably look into firefighting. They encouraged me to ride out and I rode out at a fire station and I absolutely fell in love. It was, you know, all the teamwork, all the camaraderie, all the, the things that they learn, it's all you know, on the job learning. The first thing I did was get my EMT. I volunteered at a fire station um, in a different department and I got myself physically prepared. The Los Angeles Fire Department's goal is to have our fire department reflect the city. And that not only is ethnicity, but that's just all different types of backgrounds so we could come together to solve a problem when we're on a call. In order to promote to inspector, you have to have worked in the field as a firefighter for four years prior to promoting at all. Um, at first I was in the um, environmental unit where we did hazmat and um, hazmat inspections and underground tanks. Now I'm in the community risk reduction unit, so now we're doing more project-oriented um, type things. Uh, my parents were, I'm, I'm Japanese and a quarter Mexican, so they know that they raised me to, to be safe and um, I'm also married and I'll be able, you know, I would like to start a family, so this job allows me to have that schedule to provide for my family and to provide good health insurance <laughs> and, um, you know, and just have a good career and a good longevity. Mm -hmm.